Hello, so today I'm taking you through how to embed live map, live Google map inside your React app. So as you can see, this is my React app and I've embedded this map. So you can see this, I can just zoom or zoom out and you can even click direction to take you to the larger map to show you the direction. So as you can see, this, this map is working perfectly. So I'm going to show you how to embed this map into your React app. And also if you want to know how I created this nav bar from scratch as well. Created, I also have a link in the description to how I created this nav bar from scratch. You want to know how I created it from scratch. I'm going to put link in the description so you can also check it out as well. So, so when I'm going to my React app, so I just want to remove this. And start from scratch so if you come here it means there's nothing here so right now i'm going to google and i'll just search google map iframe so search google map iframe there are so many sites that will appear which you can get iframe and embed into your map so many so i'm just going to click on the first one so it takes me to this maps.i so i'm just going to come here so if you look at here the same entire settings so i'm going here i want to put that the title so this is going to be the title of your app so i just enter here but for your direction so i'll enter i'll pick the location to as well So come here. Now is the location. So I'll pick the width. Okay, the height of um, I need height of four hundred. Then I remove this auto fit because I want to give it my own width. So for an width of five twenty. So there yeah we two ways of adding this map so i want to show you the two ways or so one of them is in my react app i've already created this div which is already this uh i've start this div already so all you have to do is you just have to embed the iframe inside the div then the iframe will automatically take the shape of the div how the div is or you can pick the iframe with the div and insert it and start it yourself so i want to do that to all. so right now i'm doing this div has already installed you can see there is some border radius around this div right here so it means if i add this iframe to this div it's going to take the shape of this div so i'm just going to copy this code here so inside my sorry okay Well, I don't know what I'm down to my hats. Okay, so I don't know what. So let me just open again. So look at host. Okay, so it's back on. So I'll just come here. So as you can see, after they have already have this div, so I'm just pasting it inside the div I already have. This is with the class name GMAP frame. I just put it inside and you can see whenever you copy the iframe it comes with its own div so i'm just going to remove this div because i want I already have a div that i wanted to take the shape of the iframe so i just remove the div that comes with it so i scroll to the end remove the end div so it's going to be embed inside this iframe right here so if you come here you can see the map has inserted inside my div but it's not fit doesn't fit inside perfectly i already have so if i come inside my css like i said i have this style that i've applied to it so i'm just going to copy 
because I want it to take the shape of the div there. So I just give it the ID. So ID. So then if I come here, you can see it fits inside my div there. So it does take the shape of my ID automatically. The shape of my div automatically. So the other way is um, I said is so here I'm going to copy it again. So here I'm just going to use auto fit. Auto fit. Then let's give it the height of something like six hundred. So let's copy it. So inside my code. I'm going to insert this right here. Okay. So you can see this comes with. Okay, this tab is not supported in VR, so it means you need to change its stop prop. Supposed to be with. Okay. So if you come here, you can see that the app map has been set there. So let me add some brick to separate it. And add some line brick. So this is the map I just pasted. So this is the second method. It comes with its own form. So Maybe you just have to style it the way you want. So maybe if I want to style it to make it a little bit smaller, I want to give it your own look. Oh yeah, you just have to add maybe like your class. So let's give it a class name or let's give it an ID of let's say map. So inside my CSS, I'm going to add my map ID. So we'll change the width. So let's change the width to probably like fifty percent. So if you can make us see the width has changed to fifty percent. So the width change or we can even come back here. Can make the width hundred percent. So see that it fits the screen. So like the the reason I, I was talking about two methods. So with this two method, I added two maps here. With this one, we already have a div which has been styled. So we just have to set it inside that div and add the class name of that div to this so that it will fit inside that div and the second one we just copied with a div and we are styling it on our own so you can you can just add your you can just style it any how you want for it to fit like however you want maybe you want to align or maybe let it sound like maybe margin left If the preserves. So like just play like however I want to style it. So that's up to you. So if you look at okay, if you look at the console, it says iframe element must have a unique title property. So to make React happy, inside the app iframe somewhere here. Let's add a title property. So, well, let's use this title. Yeah. So inside here, I'm going to paste this. So I will do the same thing to the other iframe. So here, I would add this to this as well. So you can see now my, my console is clear now. 
So it means now Riyadh is happy. So 